Welcome to Gothic Romance, the genre of ghosts, hauntings, severe outfits, and the man with a super ego who may or may not be trying to kill you. In Joanna Russ's essay called Somebody is Trying to Kill Me and I Think It's My Husband, Russ outlines key points of the modern gothic romance genre and how it creates this narrative of passivity for the female protagonist. Today I'll be discussing how this passivity interacts with Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre and the Fulbright Company's vid video game Gone Home. The original gothic texts include spine-tiggling books like The Castle of Otrano, Dracula and Frankenstein. Each is set in specific time periods and encompass the fears and superstitions of the era along with supernatural and horror elements. Vampires, resurrection and hauntings play big themes. These concepts feature in gothic romance as well. However, they play a very symbolic role, adding to the trepidatious air of the stories. Often these boogeymen and ghosts are metaphorical of doomed love or powerful, unfulfilled sentiment. Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre is the defining text of the genre, inspiring a huge amount of gothic and romance books in its wake. While Gone Home by the Fulbright Company breathes new life into gothic romance with its innovative 90s nostalgia, and a queer romance. Russ argues that the heroines of gothic romance are passive. They exist to allow the story to take place. These female protagonists take minor roles in regards to the plot, yet are the main characters whom we follow. She argues that the modern gothics of the 70s are written to allow the implied reader, who are apparently middle-class women, to experience the adventure and mystery as though they themselves are the main character. In regards to Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre, she is remarkably passive compared to women in 2017. However, Jane is bold and outspoken and learns at a young age to fend for herself and not be a victim. The formula which compounds modern gothics can still be seen, but likely because Jane Eyre was the foremother of the genre. The bluebeard like Rochester, with his hard ways and dark secrets, has become the romantic standard for modern gothics, and these women are far more passive than the progressive Jane Eyre. In contrast, Gone Home, released by the Fulbright Company, explores the very idea of the main character being played by you, the reader, or in this case, the gamer. The gamer steps into the shoes of an American teen girl as she seeks answers to where her family are and the background of the spooky gothic house that they have inherited. The narrative of the game unfolds much like a modern gothic with very little happening to our heroine. However, all the key elements are there. Mystery, death, the possibility of ghosts, and most of all, a missing sibling, the younger sister of the main character that the gamer plays as. Gone Home revises the trope of dangerous female sexuality. It celebrates young queer love as well as self-expression. The sinister haunted house of gothic literature takes some new meaning in gothic romance. In the past, it held next romances, ghosts, resurrected corpses, and ghoulish vampires. In gothic romance, it is metaphorical of sexual desire, strong women who may or may not be unfairly judged as mad, the secrets of dead family members, and the sordid pasts of the super male. Russ says the gothic heroine has a love and hate relationship with the epic house, of the gothic romance. She initially fears it, as it houses secrets which often go against her pursuit of happiness and love. But as it opens to her, laden with secrets, she begins to be enchanted with it also. This can be seen in Jane Eyre, when Thornfield Hall appears damp and forbidding when she first arrives. After Rochester's arrival, it starts to have a new life. To break with the narrative of the heroine becoming part of the house, Thornfield Hall has to be destroyed for Jane to stop being the passive heroine that gothic romance portrays her as. Leaving Thornfield Hall and setting out to pursue her own life, she defeats the trope of passivity. Gone Home seeks to rewrite this narrative while still honouring it in its own way. The house in Gone Home possesses many secrets belonging to the Greenbrier family, as well as the previous owner, Oscar Maysan, the abusive uncle of Katie and Sam's father. Moving through the house, the player is immersed in a 90s revival of the gothic narrative. Televisions flicker on and off. Strange communications and voicemail play as you find them. Secret compartments in the walls reveal other pop cultural references to the gothic and alternate movement at the time, like iconic bands and films. 
The major revision begins to reveal itself as we learn that the mad woman in the attic, or should I say, the dark room, is running free. This character, the game is sister, instead of being trapped by her own sexuality, has decided to take her freedom and reject the homophobic oppression surrounding her life. Russ outlines in her essay that in a typical gothic romance narrative from the 70s, the heroine would be opposed to the evil or other woman. The plot would pitch them against each other, even though the heroine's passivity would mean that she'd probably bungle any outright battle of wits or otherwise. In Gone Home, however, the initial negativity seen between the sisters is due to the rejection the younger sister is facing, as well as a projection of teen angst. There are many red herrings throughout to confuse the gamer into believing she has killed herself or hurt her family members. These nods to conventional gothic narrative make the gamer believe they will start to experience the key points mentioned in Russ's essay. However, no one is out to get the older sister. Instead, she unravels the dark secrets of her family, and the gamer learns that the younger sister features combined elements of the other woman and the lost girl, key narrative plots repeated in gothic romances. Combining these two character identities rewrites the passive role of the gothic heroine as the romance occurs for the other woman, while the heroine Katie, who is you, the gamer, encounters no plots against her life, and is safe inside the spooky house. In conclusion, Jane Eyre introduces the idea of women seeking their own fortunes and marrying for love instead of living as property. Gone Home shows us that the gothic heroine does not need to be central to the narrative to take part. Instead, the other woman can find her happiness, rather than having her downfall be the catalyst of the heroine's happy future. This addresses the main problem that Russ discusses in the essay, Somebody is trying to kill me and I think it's my husband. Working to rewrite the formula of gothic romance and establishing a happy ending for the marginalised characters of gothic romance's past.